y'all. So in today's video, we are going to be unboxing our February Allure Beauty Box. And I'm really excited. Um, I hope that y'all are excited to watch it. If you do like these unboxings, give the video a thumbs up so I know and I'll keep doing them. So if you are ready to see what we got in this month's box, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Hey y'all, so... We are going to jump right into it, but before we do that, um, I guess I should explain the elephant in the room, which is my hair. Um, I am currently lightening it. My friend Shauna, which Shauna, if you're watching, I love you. Um, she is coloring my hair. Well, she is helping me achieve um, the look that I'm going for. It's going to be much lighter than this. We did two rounds of bleaching whenever I first went in letting my hair kind of rest but I've never gone full blonde before so we'll see how it turns out <sighs> I'm excited I and mean, honestly my hair it feels so much healthier now than it did before we even bleached it the first time I mean my hair it's soft it's silky you know she gave me a little bit of a trim and it just feels so nice so I'm very very excited to see how it turns out we're going to go ahead and jump right into the video. We're going to be unboxing the Allure February Beauty Box. And um, the reason why I'm starting this off without any makeup on my face at all is because I had gotten an email and they asked you to select shades, like a shade of a foundation. So I am hoping that there is a foundation in here and I want to go ahead and put it on my skin and see how it looks and you know, see if I like it. So I'm going to kind of apply the products as we go. And let me see here. I am also going to be swatching and doing an eye look with the Huda Beauty Mob Obsessions palette. So I already took off the plastic packaging off of this, but I haven't peeked inside yet. So I'm very excited to see what we have this month. So we have the little packet that shows um, the products that are in here. And I think it also has like coupon codes and stuff in there. I don't want to peek yet. Okay. So this is what we're seeing so far. I'll go ahead and grab this. So we have from Juice Beauty, the organic solution. Um, there's Gwyneth Peltro. <laughs> um, it looks like... Oh, it's a liquid lip. Oh, this is in the shade Gwyneth. So, okay. So here's the package. So on the front, it has Gwyneth Peltro's face. And then whenever you open up, it has the other shades right here. So there is Blythe, Cameron, Chelsea, Kate, Drew, Apple, Reese, and Gwyneth, which we got the shade Gwyneth. It seems really gel-like. I don't know. I'm going to let that sit. There it is again. It's a beautiful color. I mean, it's like a really kind of like berry pinky color. But like I said, it's, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to dry down. Next thing I see in here is this naturally minty mint. Uh, oh, it's a lip repair balm. Ooh, for soft, smooth lips. Oh yeah, I'm going to use that right now. Very minty smelling. Super, super moisturizing. Like, it almost kind of, um, once it makes contact with your lips and, like, the warmth of your lips uh, meets with the product, it kind of turns into, like, an oil. It's very slick, but it feels very moisturizing. Um, definitely a cool, tingly feeling, and it's not super intense where it would make you uncomfortable. You're just aware of it. Um, and if this little guy pops up, Ignore him. He has a keloid scar, and they're hard as hell to get rid of. His name is Frank. He's an a-hole, and I don't like him. So just ignore him, please. Oh, this is our foundation. It is the Essence Moonlighter Cushion Foundation from CLE or Clay. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, Radiant Skin Essence Moonlighter Cushion Calming Moisture Technology. Essence Moonlighter Cushion provides a lustrous shine equivalent to that of moonlight glistening on the water. So you open the product up. It has a little egg-shaped cushion in here. 
And there is another little protective thing. So I do appreciate that. Thank you. That is so dark. The shade is Glinting Buff. I mean, it's beautiful. Our Moonlighter Cushion highlights desired areas with a silky smooth and illuminating finish. We have a sample of the Tarte Tartist Mascara. And last that I have in here is this little guy. Kale and Spinach Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid. It's an age prevention moisture cream from youth to the people. Feels hydrating on my skin. Yeah, there's definitely no smell. It kind of made like a little cooling sensation on my skin. So that is everything that we got in our February beauty box. Now that we have all of our new products to try out, I am just going to go ahead and start applying my makeup and we will apply the products along the way. Ooh. These little Ghirardelli chocolates. This is, I think it's like a limited edition one. It's dark chocolate with strawberry. Oh, my absolute favorite. I love chocolate covered strawberries. And these are little morsels of heaven. They're, this is just, it's so good. If you ever want to find the way to my heart, get these. Find me these, send me boxes of them because I love it. Okay, so heavy, nice, and scooted in. My face is already primed and moisturized. First things first, um, I did not use, use the Youth to the People Moisturizing Cream because I did already apply a moisturizer not very long ago. And I just, I wasn't really wanting to double up on that. But we will be using these products um, later on in the video as we're going along doing my makeup. My lips, they still feel really moisturized. There's no more tingly feeling or anything like that. I mean, it's probably been about like 15 minutes since I first applied it. And it's already like the, the feeling is already gone, but my lips still feel very moisturized. Um, and I like it. Okay, so I have my foundation done my concealer and my brows, and I did powder with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in the shade 05. Um, I only powdered right under my eyes uh, where my concealer was. I didn't bring it down or anything because we're going in with this bad boy right here. Um, gonna see, hopefully it looks nice on me. Hopefully it applies right, I don't know. I have it right here, and I'm gonna try it with the little sponge uh, that they give, just like that. Okay, let's see. I mean, it's pretty. I think if, cause it this is it's really close to my skin tone. Um, I think if I was a little darker, like a little bit more tan. Uh, more tan, like I'm tan right now. <laughs> um, I think if I had a little bit of a tan going on, this would be absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's, it's really pretty. I don't want to apply too much, but then again, I don't want to stop. Yeah, I think that I need to be a little bit more tan, so I'm gonna, I'm definitely going to save this and use it during the summer. I feel like it might be taking off a little bit of the coverage uh, from my foundation that I have. I'm, I'm gonna be really excited to use this during the summer. Um, like, I might try to get a little bit tan just so I could use this product. We're going in with the Huda Beauty Mob Obsessions Palette. Oh my god, look at it. Honestly, I kind of want to use as many shadows as I possibly can. <laughs> so first I'm going to go in with my large flat shader brush and with this uh, cream shade right here. And I'm just going to use that to set my lid. And I'm actually going to take that from my lash line to my brow bone. Since I have the cream shade um, all over my lid space and up to my brow bone, I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush. And I'm only going to be working with this palette. I'm not going to supplement shadows from any other palettes. Um, I'm going to go in with this middle shade. 
and put that into my crease. I think maybe we'll go for like a halo eye today. I think I want to do that. I'm definitely a beauty sponge ass bitch. So we had that shade blended into our crease and I started to go in on my inner and outer corners with it really well. Um, I'm going to take this, sh this shade right here and we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm just building it up as I go along. I'm not, I'm just not going to take it as high as I did because these are so pigmented. And I'm going to take the same shade and I'm going to take that on my lower lash line like I did the first shade. So I'm going to take this middle shade mixed with this cream shade and I'm going to just blend out my edges just a little bit because I wanted a little, little bit more blown out. See, just the tiniest bit. So again, same concept. I'm going to go in with this shade and this is on, I don't know if I'm going to use this brush. Um, this is on a small e.l.f. brush. It is an e.l.f. crease brush. Um, picked up the powder really weird. I haven't had any fallout with these, but whenever I tapped my brush into this shade, it just made a whole lot of kickback, and I haven't had that trouble with any of my other brushes. So it might just be that brush, it might be that shade, I'm not quite sure. But I'm going to do the same thing. You just want to start out going from light up to deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper until you get to the shade that you want until you get to the desired look so just adding that in and giving it a nice little blend and I'm going to take my brush that I was using to blend out my lower lash line and I'm going to pick up this color but just putting it right here into the crease. And I'm just barely touching my skin. And I do want to note that I have not had any fallout. Yeah. I have not had any fallout with these shadows. Okay. Have that placed. And I'm going to go in with the first brush that I went in with my crease. It is clean. There's nothing on it. And I'm going to blend. I'm going to take this super precision pencil brush with this more purpley dark, a little bit right on the tip. And I'm going to go into the crease. Pick up this shade very lightly just to blend that. And then back in with that purple shade one more time. And I'm just going to get it right here on my inner corner. I'm going to take a clean brush, absolutely no product on it, and I'm going to run it over my entire eye space where we've been applying all those shadows. I want to bring the red out just a little bit more. I don't want it to look too purpley, so I'm just going in with these two really lightly and just reinstating them on my eye area here. So now we are going to go on to this blank space that we have left on our eyelids. Just going to squeeze out a bit of this on the back of my hand. And you don't need a lot at all. Just a tiny dot. And I'm going to get a flat synthetic brush and I'm going to pick up my concealer. 
and just place this where you want. And if you're not sure how far you need to bring it up, what I'll do is open my eyes and it kind of makes it, it makes a marker where I know how far I want to go. I'm going to take the same brush, I wiped off all the concealer off of it, and I'm going to first go in, I'm going to go in with this deeper pink shimmery shade, I'm going to put that everywhere, actually, I'm going to go in with my finger with it, and just pat that on where you put the concealer. So now I'm going to take it on that synthetic brush and just kind of go in like to the corners that I couldn't reach with my finger. Right before we add on anything else and I'm going to just blend the inner and outer corner so it's, you know, it's a little bit more seamless and it just looks better. And to do that, I'm taking those, these two shades. And I'm just going to kind of just marry them together. Um, I'm going to go in with this middle shade, and I'm not going to put that as spread out, just right here in the middle. And for the last shade in the palette, we are going to go in here. There we go. And to finish up my lower lash line, I am going to apply a little bit of eyeliner. I don't want to go in with black liner. I want to try this out. It's this, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil. So it's beautiful. It's so pigmented. Okay, so now I am going to take my Tarte Tartist mascara, and I'm going to coat my lashes with it. Apply the rest of my mascara. Um, it's I mean, it's a, it's a mascara. To me, they're not all that different from each other. I don't know. I just, to me, a mascara is mascara as long as it coats my lashes and they look black. That's all that I care about. I'm just going to go in with my handy dandy Kiss Lashes, uh, the Lash Couture line in the shade Midnight. These are some tired lashes. They have been used and abused and I really need to replace them. So we have our lashes on, our shadows, our makeup is pretty much done. The only thing left is our lip. And we're going to go in with the Juice Beauty Liquid Lip in the shade Gwyneth. Like I said, I highly doubt this is going to dry down, so we'll see. And we're going to apply this. The color is beautiful. So I really like this lip color. It still has not dried down. I mean, it has been, I don't know, maybe about a minute or so. Um, it's still very much like a pigmented gloss consistency. So I think that was all of the products that we got in our February beauty box from Allure. Um, I'm still really happy with it. I'm going to keep going on, you know, keep getting the boxes every month. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye y'all.